viewers just turned on the Sandy Creek Road heading out towards the Wadigans now past Coorumbong and uh, yeah some of the roads have not been open for a little while due to previous flooding and um, landslides and things like that but that's been over almost 12 months so I thought I'd come out and investigate and see what's over and head up to them there far hills just coming into a few twisties on the tar probably not the DRZ's best attributes it's always a little bit of fun though this uh, road through here wasn't many years ago and it was all um, all gravel so it was all washed out rough corrugated yeah hard road to maintain it's only a short section probably a little bit better on a sports bike a bit more fun Yeah, so I brought the DRZ today. <coughs> I've um, taken the air hook cushion off the V Strom because I've only got a standard seat on the DRZ, and I'm just um, toying with some ideas about uh, a new seat. Or, um, yeah, maybe I only need a, another air hook cushion or something like that to um, just pat it out a bit. Being a bit older, obviously comforts are a bit more important to me, mainly to manage fatigue and things like that, so that you're um, comfortable and yeah, not stressing the body out as much as uh, you need to. Leave some energy in the tank to get home. So I've looked at. Uh, Looked online at seat concepts, um, sergeant seats, just all the different varieties. As in far as uh, you know, a high comfort one or a um, a wider one. So, if anyone's got any comments, wants to leave them for me regarding seats on the DRZ or something they've done as far as uh, put a cover or lamb's wool or other sort of padding to just make the uh, ability to sit on the bike a bit longer but hopefully I'll come back with a little bit of result as to um, just putting the air hook on it today and see what that uh, yeah see what that brings well that's the end of those twisties Travelling along Heaton Road, I did see one road close sign a little bit further back, and I'm guessing this is another one that's going to confirm it. So, uh, looks like this entrance, as the road says, as the sign says, uh, yeah, might not be accessible to get up in those mountains. So, I do have a plan B. curiosity has got me. I'm going to go as far as I can on this uh, Heaton Road. It's only a little bit further up here where it, uh, it's probably closed. Yeah, she's pretty, uh, pretty gnarly. But people are coming through, so... <clears throat>
Well, my title of uh, Wadigan's State Forest was wrong. Obviously, it's a national park. Go for a ride along George's Road. This comes to a dead end. Some of the views are, uh, along the ridgeline are um, excellent. I'll pull up and uh, yeah, take some footage. It's fairly dry at the moment. I mean, there's a few, um, yeah, mud holes, taking it easy around them. But um, yeah, it can be quite greasy and slippery in the when there's been a bit of rain. Just coming up to the uh, narrow place lookout. This is. Uh, I'm going to stop here. It's got quite a good view. Might put the drone up and see what's happening. Yeah, look out uh, back over Cessnock and actually in the distance up to Mount Royal, the lower part of the Barrington uh, Tops National Park. A bit hazy today. Anyway, I'll stop and have a yeah, stop and have a bit more of a look around. Yeah, so I'll just show you what I was talking about as far as uh, my experiment with the seat um, and the standard seat, as you can see. But I've got the uh, air hook cushion, air cushion, off the uh, off the V-Strom seems to be working in my advantage at the moment I don't feel as um, yeah, uncomfortable as what I normally do on the, on the standard seat so I can only assume it's working a little bit I think if it was uh, and the positioning, even though it looks really weird the positioning, uh, funnily enough, is that's where I sit so I don't know if a, um, a different seat would actually make, you know, all that much difference. I'm guessing that uh, because they're tailor-made, that it probably would. Yeah, well the uh, clouds are certainly rolling in today, more than expected. It is keeping the uh, temperature down on me, like the sun not bear coming bearing down. But um, yeah, sort of wasn't expecting the, the amount of cloud cover. This is a great spot, as you can see, quite a drop off there. Yeah, so I've come to another lookout along the range. Not 100% sure of the uh, name of this one. I'll put it up if I uh, can find out for you. Obviously he's looking back over into the valley. Farms. Out towards uh, Wollombi. Yeah, so I didn't uh, obviously stick with uh, plan B, I could <coughs> stay with plan A. And um, if we come along here, it uh, turned into part of the uh, Great North Walk from Sydney to uh, Newcastle. Um, yeah, but this gate's private property. And my plan B, which was to go into Corribair State Forest, it's probably only another 200 metres through there. Yeah, it would have been a good loop, but um, it is what it is. 
mean, as you can see, up here we're still getting these uh, good views from along this, uh, yeah, from along this ridge. All right, I'm going to double back and see what else I can find. I just come a little bit off the beaten track seemed like a walking trail slash where the water runs down the hill and uh, yeah quite leafy underneath just another spot where views are all around and uh, yeah now I've got to get it back up the hill all right we'll see how we go Try again. Camp area, fantastic view. All right, we'll keep going. Oh, we just arrived at Hunter Lookout, part of the Heaton State Forest. I'll go up and have a look. It's only a short walk. I like those ones. As you can see, that cloud's really, uh, really moved in, making it fairly overcast and uh, reasonably hazy in the valley. So if we look straight out where that um, mountain range sort of comes down into the valley 
That's Bacolvin State Forest. So the little um, village underneath that is uh, Bellbird. Probably can't see it on the GoPro. And that's the area we just came from over there. I'm going to take a bit of a break here. And there's a couple more lookouts that I want to do. I'll have a rest first. Well, I'm just leaving uh, Hunter Lookout. Just going down the road. It's only a short distance to McLean's Lookout. So I'll have a short stop off there. Let's see what else I can find. I want to send a special shout out to Andrew. Caught up with him at Narrow Place Lookout. That was the first one I came to actually. And stopped that, put the drone up. Yeah, Andrew stopped and uh, we had a bit of a chat. It's always good to catch up with uh, fellow adventure riders. He was on the T7. And. Um, Yeah, it's just good to talk to people with like-minded uh, like-minded activities and hobbies. Well, here's McLean's Lookout. I knew it wasn't far. Yeah, quite a good picnic area here. Plenty of shade. Have an open fire barbecue there. And it really does surprise me that, uh, yeah, not more many, many people around because it's only about one o'clock on a Saturday, so. Well, we're just coming into the heat and lookout and um, picnic area. This gives views out uh, back over to the coast, Lake Macquarie, Newcastle. Yeah, a couple of people around here having a barbecue. Taking the load off. Pull up and have a rest. Yeah, so we're sort of looking out more over the Lake Macquarie area, out to sea. Not the clearest of days. You certainly get the idea of it. Obviously the friendly goanna can smell the barbecue. He's uh, looking for a bit of a feed. Now left and left to watch their steaks. All right, just coming up to the um, heat and picnic area. Just going to have a look up in here. Seems like there's a fair few trees around for, for shade, so I don't imagine the views are um, as clear as the lookout. So. Yeah, nice and shady for uh, nice and shady for picnics. A bit quiet today. They even got an old, um, old, looks like it would have been a piece of um, military, maybe. Yeah, not 100% sure on that one.
Yeah, just on uh, Murrells Road at the moment. And the views just don't stop. There's a... Uh, seems like there's a lookout every 100 metres. Yeah, so we're just uh, looking over to Mount Sugarloaf. Communication towers over there. Someone's obviously um, got a little bit serious about camping here. Artificial grass. Quite interesting. Yeah, but those views are certainly quite good. Even through the gap there, you can see it to uh, almost up to Newcastle. And uh, probably can't pick it up on the GoPro, but Stockton Beach as well. All right, we're going to leave the lookouts, go back along the ridge. Um, head back down to, ultimately out of the Wadigans and onto Freeman's Drive and uh, Freeman's Waterhole. Might need some fuel. I'll uh, see uh, what that looks like when I am going through Freeman's Waterhole. And uh, yeah, we'll go, go from there. Alright, we're out of here. Technically, it says it's a transmission tower. Yeah, well, we're certainly heading downhill and out of the forest now. Walk as in chalk. And that area just coming through now, um, it's where a massive landslide actually had uh, this entrance to the State Forest and National Park closed for a long time. A lot of mountain bike activity in this particular area. Hence all the road signs saying be careful. That's a tough way to do it. I might only have 400 cc's but it's uh, better than my legs. Well I'm just coming through Freeman's waterhole. I um, yeah, haven't got on reserve yet so um, I'm thinking I might make it home. There is another servo up at the top of the hill at the gap. So if I go into a reserve before then.
stop in there and get some fuel. Yeah, just come over the other side of the gap. As you can see, this is the valley that we were uh, high above on the lookouts. Coming down through Brunkerville. if nothing else happens that I can add to this I'm just uh, heading home haven't had to uh, put any fuel in maybe that'll happen I'm not sure but I do appreciate you watching hope you enjoy subscribe like make any comments and just a note on that um, air ball cushion that I've got on it does seem to have made it build it a little bit of well, we'll stuff that again. It does seem to have made a little bit of difference. Um, yeah, just on the rear end. That's my rear end. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'll think about that. All right. See you guys next time. Cheers.